Hello everybody, and welcome back. Now I just want to start off this episode by saying thank you. Truly, thank you. As of recording this right now, my channel has now hit just over 100 views. I can't believe that. <laughs> 100 views already. I figured to get even just one or a couple views going. I thought I'd have to be, create like at least 60 videos or so before anyone would even click on it or it'd be YouTube would advertise it. But no, here we are. About 20 episodes in or videos in. I have over 100 total views on the channel. Well, that might not seem like a lot to some people, but that is truly incredible for me. It really is. I started off making this. I just realised I have my headphones on the wrong way. Hold on, sorry. Whoops. There we go. Felt like something was wrong. Yeah, I first started off making this channel as just a way to keep things going, you know, as a hobby, but I never expected this, honestly. I never expected to get any views. And I'm not being a generic type of person and whatnot. I'm being honest. I never expected any views. At least not for a while. So, thank you for that. The reason why I wanted to say in the first part is because apparently the average view duration or how long someone will watch for is about 30 seconds. So, hey, there's a start. And thank you regardless. I do appreciate every single one of you. I really do. Now, then, back onto the main topic. I tried recording this earlier, however, I um, wasn't feeling too well, so I had to stop it. Still not feeling the best, my nose is a bit stuffy, but still my foot's a lot better. And Jeff, we are here, we're finally going to continue on with our Adept Die mission, or quest. As you can see, this is literally the only quest left we haven't got. Next episode, I think we can do a story quest. Will it be either Klee or a hangout event over here? I don't know. But regardless, it's about bloody time we do this because I've been putting off for a while. I have barely explored this area at all. As you can see, I've been taking time to go everywhere else. As you can see, 73, 74, 73, 66. And even here... 99, 90, 86, 100%, 100%. We've been doing a lot. Oh, I have been doing a lot, and we're off camera, so. Yeah, in fact, but also, I pulled an Ingram on the standard banner. Did not even know you could pull her from a standard banner. I um, checked all the characters you could do, the four stars anyway. And honestly, you can get a lot more than I thought you could. You really can. I kind of thought it was like... Only... Well, I say but only once on the character banner, but... I thought they were much more limited than that, but... No, it's a lot of the four stars in the game, if not most of them. So in that way, I built her up too. Something else I'm also doing? Trying to level up all my characters. So we can get this stuff as much as possible. And also so we have as much variety as possible too. That would be nice. But anyway, without any more dilly-dallying. Because as I said beforehand, average watch duration is about 30 seconds. You're probably already clicked off. If you're still here, thank you. And I'll try not to waste any more of your time. <laughs> thank you, Will. I do appreciate you. Yeah, we have to get up there too. Oh, what the? Treasure hoard? Oh, for goodness sake. Starfall! Yeah. Oh, I won't lie though. I've never really built an Ingram or other like magic characters before. Because I saw them as boring. Since, you know, as. Think about it. He's just throwing a couple of rocks in a straight line, but. After building her properly, kind of fun. Oh no. 
Oh, I uh, don't have an archer count drawn. Never mind. Oh, but hello. Oh, hello. Is this an answer from this world? Something I'm curious about is what do bees actually say? I don't think I've heard anybody mention bees at all. Like in all the videos I've watched of Genshin, never once seen this stuff. I'm kind of curious. Anyway, let's go. For those of you wondering, I have kept myself in secret as well from Simaru, the Chasm, Fontaine, all that stuff. I haven't not seen pretty much any content from it whatsoever, let alone the storyline, so. I'm quite curious about that. I am, so. Sorry, I just kind of ran out of things to say there. What does this say? Okay. I feel a sneeze coming on, but ain't good. Hold on, I'll mute myself. Sneeze never came out. I'm, I'm annoyed. We can't have treasure unaccounted for. Oh, yeah, I've also been listening to some of Ningguan's dialogue options. Or, like open up chess. Kind of cool, actually. I don't know. But, oh, I, I see what's happening here. Starfall! Or maybe I don't, actually. Maybe I don't. Never mind. Here we are. Time to meet the Adepti. And who might we be? Those that dare enter Dreyun Karst. Oh, I've never heard his voice before. It sounds so deep, yet so soft. I love it. I was sent here. A sigil of permission. Many a season has passed since one was last in the presence of such an item. Oh, I love his voice, I really do. <laughs> he before you is the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Moon Carver. Speak, traveler. What business have you here? Actually. It's the assassin. They dared to flee here to Juryun Karst. Sir, we've already stepped too far into Juryun Karst ourselves. We. Ah, there's no choice. Apprehending the assassin is top priority. We must press on. Disturbing our borders. See them gone. One will not have interruption. I, I cannot say no to such a voice. Yes. Yes, sir. An awfully bold of you guys to assume I'm an assassin. And if I can uh, slay a god, then what the hell do you think you guys are doing? Unleash elemental skills don't hold back. They are very tall, though. Oh, there's a lot of them, too. Take the target alive. I don't know how they plan to do that, honestly. I really don't. This is quite fun, but I don't know. Also, if you think about it, these guys are kind of like unique enemies. You don't fight them normally, do you? Don't waste my time. Your life is mine. Mind the side effects. 
Incoming. Hey. Is he gonna notice why we have the power of Geo? Or what? To hide. Impromptu change of plan. We digressed. We've digressed. State your purpose, traveler. Well. And back here we go. Preposterous. Preposterous. Oh. The Liyue Qixing. Utterly disappointing. How could someone possibly assassinate Rex Lapis during the rite of dissension? And then place suspicion upon the attendees? Hmm. Traveler, of the unjust accusations placed upon you, one has become aware. The mind knows its answer. Though one must consult with one's fellows, lest the mind be misguided. Go, take your sigil of permission. Carry with you a message. Who should I look for? Mountain Shaper and Cloud Retainer can be found here. Only fate will decide if you shall find them. Only fate. Oh, do I have to pull for them? <laughs> there exists a conqueror of demons, a guardian Yaksha. Go to Wangshu Inn. There you shall seek him. Oh, we're we gonna meet our boy. Oh, adventure of rank 35. Oh. Go to Wangshu Inn. That's for Cloud Retainer. Enter the room. Okay, a lot of stuff is going on at the moment. There we got it all. Actually, first, what we gotta do is light up so we can teleport here right away. Speed of light. So this is gonna be a bit of a climb. Oh, my foot's becoming sore again. That ain't good. Oh, something I did just buy recently before. Something I ordered from Just Eat just before recording this, actually, is some Monster Energy drinks. Watched a couple of the previous episodes, well, you'll know, won't you? Oh, what's this? Okay. That's a no, but anyway. What's this? Oh, I see, because we're out of 25. Well, we're still back here, so. I'm all for work life back. Incoming! <sighs> something we haven't got yet, boys. A high level cryo character. That is something we haven't got, but hey ho. I'm going to pull for the characters I want. Simple as that. And something that I am looking forward to is, as I stated in the early episodes, Don't I'm going to prioritize pulling for icons. Because the Archons, they really, I really do like them and they fascinate me, so. <laughs> yeah, and Raiden Shogun Incoming. is going to be hey. popping up soon, so. <laughs> yeah, i got to save for our I guess. Look at that, that's beautiful. Oh, there it is. Don't blink. Here we are. Oh, Quincy. The world opens itself before those with noble hearts. Ain't that nice and lovely? Now I've pretty much all of Li Wei explored. All of this stuff is Simuru, ain't it? The Dendral region? Well, except for the chasm, which I think is here. I don't know much about the chasm, though, so... Oh, yeah. Want to open up my uh, energy drink? Hold on. That wasn't exactly satisfying too much, but okay. Do you have any Joculus? We have two. Okay. Continental Explorer. Leeway. Isn't that nice? Boom. Can I send just, I know I can send my world level. 
No, I should probably get that. Since I'm here, it'll be able help out, won't it? And if you see chess all about, don't worry, I'll be getting them off camera mostly. Save off the ball and stuff for you guys, you know? These ain't exactly entertaining just to watch me go around silently around the map, getting all the chests I can. And I don't know why I just failed them. Yeah, hold on, I've got to take a swig. Oh god, okay. Trying a new one. Because I'm pretty new to monster. It's probably be the last couple I'm getting, but... I got the regular one. Usually I have the sugar-free one. Oh, hmm. I can taste the sugar in it, that's for sure. Not sure if I like it, I'm going to take another sip. Yeah, definitely too much sugar, in my opinion. But anyhow, here we are. Boom. Oh, hello. You give, you receive. Who'll take you? Dark, strange light. Pyron can tell something happened to you. We're not sure what exactly. Let's make use of the great view to look around. The one who may ascend is the one who knows atop the three mountains. The sun, the moon, the stars. All shall each shrine uh, be sent by three divine birds. Yeah, that's like... That, as it's pointing to. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's actually kind of cool. The way they just glisten like that. That's, is that new? I don't know. I like that. Okay. Oh, we'll... We'll do that another time. For now... Wang Shu in. Oh, this seems to be Wang Shu in. Compared to Joy and Karst, this place seems basic. Are we really gonna find an Adeptus here? She Let's says as if it's our first time being here. I reckon he'll be on the balcony. <laughs> Doubt we're gonna find him in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, I love Pyman's voiceover. So it's annoying, but when you think they stop talking, you start to talk and then they continue to talk. A bit annoying. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, he's not here? That is beautiful. To the blind, everything may not be as it appears. Hello, Zhao. A sigil of permission? You came prepared. Though this only prevents me from hurting you myself, doesn't stop you from getting hurt in other ways. Uh... Paimon doesn't get it. Too much contact with our world is breaking the rules. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of Adepti, nor can your blood carry this level of Adeptal energy. It's for your own good. Leave. Now. I'm sure we can become best friends. <laughs> Wait a sec, we came here to... Ugh, Paimon's peeved. All he does is think about himself. Paimon wants to give him an ugly nickname. But if you take off an Adeptus, the only thing you'll probably ever find in treasure chests is cabbages. Blech. Well, you don't want that Bennett look, do you? <laughs> Guess we should go ask the boss lady of the inn about just how she manages to talk to Adepti. Ask the boss lady about Zhao. I hope I'm saying his name right. Hello, Vara. A distinctive but elusive dress sense, defined yet atypical facial features, and followed around everywhere by a floating elf companion. Hmm, nobody can place you. <laughs> oh, I love that. 
Tell me about what Adeptus. Oh, you've already met Xiao. It is how you say it. Not bad. Not often he's in a good enough mood to agree to see people. That's his good mood? Oh, yes. The Adepti are very hard to come by. Many people go their whole lives praying to them, never once actually getting to see one. When the Geo Archon built Liyue, he borrowed power from the Adepti. But most of them only know how to protect Liyue by fighting. So for many millennia, it has instead been humans who have led Liyue. Makes sense if you think about it that way. You really know a lot, huh, boss lady? <laughs> it's not boss lady, it's just boss. Anyway, seeing as you have the favor of the Adepti, things should be a lot easier. Well, if you want to know my opinion, if you keep Xiao in a good mood, things should be okay. Good <laughs> mood? Can't really imagine what a good mood looks like for that vigilant Yaksha. Oh, we gotta cook him his favorite food, don't we? Oh, let's see if I can remember this tofu, ain't it? <laughs> Will be interesting, won't it? Come to think of it, I've never seen him smile either. Oh? How about this? Oh, right. You go see the chef for a bowl of almond tofu and a plate of whatever it is you're best at making. Almond tofu. I don't see how that's his favorite. Honestly, I mean, each to their own, but... That sounds awful. From what I've heard of tofu, it's pretty bland. And almonds? Ugh, they taste like cardboard. Almond tofu is one of the few human foods Xiao likes. The other dish is up to you. Sweet my day. Up to us, eh? Hmm, what do you think you're the best at cooking? Actually, ma'am. I'm not even going to that. A hot pile of slime. Wow, never heard of that one. <laughs> For an adeptus, perhaps a satisfying salad would be the safer choice. Talk to the chef. The chef is nowhere to be seen. He's up above, not in the kitchen. I guess chefs don't live in kitchens, do they? Well, I think some do, but hey ho. Ah, there he is. Tricky trickster. Can't you see I'm on a break, kid? Scram. Excuse me. Lead like an almond Scram. tofu. Scram. Whoa. This chef guy's service is about as good as that Wagner guy's back in Mondstadt. It's for the boss. <laughs> I see. If it's for the boss, then guess I don't have a choice now, do I? But my heart's not really in it right now. Not enough to make a dessert as painstaking as almond tofu. Is it really painstaking? And it's a dessert? What the hell? And why is that? A fencer's hand must be steady. So too must the hand of a chef. But my hands... I'm... They're not steady. Because, uh... A, a traveler once told me that this inn... Is haunted. And then just now, just now, in the kitchen, I saw something. Something not right. This chef looks so intimidating, but speak a ghost <laughs> and he becomes weak. I keep thinking, even Wang Shu In isn't safe. Huh. I can't keep a steady hand for something like almond tofu. All right, in the name of high quality almond tofu, we need to go check this kitchen out. Okay. Go to the kitchen. Let's see. Doesn't seem to be anything. Uh, uh. Now that's not something you see every day. <laughs> if you didn't have volume, you think she says something else? <laughs> well, it's only a kid. You saw it too. There really is a ghost. Oh, how could I? Oh. Okay, so he's useless now. What do we do? 
Forget it. Let's just go see the boss lady again. <laughs> ah, poor guy. Seek help from Goldet. <laughs> Scared of something so insignificant. Hard to believe he was once a notorious bandit. Wait, really? You don't seem that afraid of ghosts, boss lady. Gods and ghosts. I've seen it all before. She has some secrets, doesn't she? Come to think of it, others don't seem to know there's an Adeptus here at the inn except for the boss lady. Shh. Say any more and you'll be divulging my little secret. <laughs> right. Best you two be off. Go see to it that that little ghost doesn't go scaring anybody else. Not that I'm ordering you around. It's like the Adeptus said. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of the Adepti. So as not to be harmed when dealing with the Adepti, you can start by practicing with that ghost. I'm scared. But how should we persuade the ghost? There is a calligraphy painting in the inn known as the Witness Sigil. It's been in circulation for over a thousand years. Go take a look at it. Once you have, look for a place outside where you can see the exact same Witness Sigil formation. Okay. Love the painting. Oh, here. Oh. Find a place so I can see the whole witness sigil. Oh, it's just outside, so I ain't on the mountain tops like I thought, but. Was oh, it this here? Oh, I think I see what's going on. <laughs> I see what's going on. There she is. Dusky so Moon. Quick, you, you grab her. She's trying to get away. We have to follow her. If it's as the boss lady said, she won't disappear like last time. This fun. Face the ghost. Face your toes. What the? Oh, no. What's going on there? Um. She doesn't know when to give up. This is the decrepit ruin guard. Surely it's not possessed. Well, I think malfunctioning machine. <laughs> Don't say this is how I deal playing. A bitter pill to swallow. Don't waste my time. Ugh, you Ouch. wait. Yeah. Yeah. That's not exactly as effective as teaching now, is it? There we go. I like to imagine she's actually just taking a dump in her pants. <laughs> Silly Billy, Billy Joe. Haunting things isn't nice. Uh, little girl, are you listening? Jilly Joe, Frilly Joe. Now listen here, young lady. Oh. Okay. Dusky Ming won't tease the travelers at the inn anymore. Next time, you can come play with Dusky Ming. If you don't come and play, Dusky Ming will come find you. Now that's not ominous. Silly Billy Childish Goo. <laughs> Well then, ain't that nice?
Let's talk to the chef again, shall we? Smiley Yan Shao. What? You, you really got the ghost to promise to stop haunting the inn? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You really are something. I am in your debt. Please, wait a moment. I'll make you the smoothest, silkiest bowl of almond tofu. Haha, <laughs> my hands are steadier than ever now that she's gone. Talk to Zhao. You haven't made the satisfying salad yet, but have we? Hmm. Let's see if we can get a special dish, shall we? Hold on. The more special dish. Life over, and there it is. Mona specialty. Doesn't really look that much different, personally, but hey ho. It's that sob, but that's about it. God damn it. When stuffy nose is coming back again, it's not exactly my nose, but like the back of it. I can't. Oh god, it's annoying. So I'll be saying quieter than usual, but I'll just let this play out. You two, again. <laughs> We're back once again. What's this? It's your favorite almond tofu, as well as this distant traveler's best dish, a satisfying salad. Quick, tell him everything before he finishes eating. <laughs> Rex Lapis. How could this be? I can't imagine it. Though times have changed, I've never imagined a Leoa without him. The ruling Qixing. Just what role have they played in this? <sighs> I will seek Moon Carver, Mountain Shaper, and Cloud Retainer. It is time they too made their decisions. Will we Adepti interrogate them? Adepti do not turn on their responsibilities. I have my reasons to not want to be tainted by the mortal realm, but responsibilities are responsibilities. Our god is the god of contracts, after all. Huh? Wait! Paimon still has one last question! Hmm? Well, he's much more accepting now, isn't he? That... Dusky Ming... She's... When conquering demons, on occasion, you can come across spirits who have never hurt anyone, yet are also not yet able to be moved on. So I asked the innkeeper and the boss if they could keep her here for a time. Aww. Let's have a soft side. So, really? Wang Xuin was looking after her. Really keeping a wide range of business going, huh? No, That's sweet. There's also this, too. I don't know where that is, but I guess we have to check it out. Right, seek out Mountain Shaper. First of all, we're gonna go in. Actually, wait a second. No, this one here. Here we are. Hold on. Which way is this one here? So, to the right now. Right over that, first of all. Let's go. Georgia, I remember this being a pretty difficult place to get 100% completion and because of just how tall every mountain pillar is, you know. So at least we're up here now, so we can always just come down again. Boom. Oh, that's it. Ain't that nice. That's one down, two to go. Well, 
God, this cold just won't go away, will it? That's the far place we have to go to, ain't it? Yes, sir. So we'll go to here first. Mount Hula. Whatever. I wonder how far we can get. Definitely make it there at least, but. Let's see. Just realize there's a geoculus over there. We're probably up there actually. But anyhow. God, I love this game so much. It's, it's so beautiful. Now, I haven't really played that many anime games before. However, typically ones that are after anime, they feel very close-minded. Because the maps aren't that big and it's mainly trying to follow a story that the characters have already gone through. Which, I mean, is fine. You would expect that from a licensed anime game, but... Yeah, well, Genshin, but it doesn't have that type of back, so it feels really free, you know? That's what I really like about this game. Like, it doesn't feel like it's tied down to any particular storyline, you know? And the storyline isn't either, like, ain't some just reason, like, trying to defeat a demon king to save humanity or anything stupid like that. Is you're just simply trying to find your sibling. That's it. It's a simple, yet a good enough course to go traveling the entire continent about. Yeah. That's what I really love about Genshin. Oh, can you also break this stuff too? Yeah. Yes, you can. Oh, <laughs> Baba. So, stuff like that, though, that makes me really love Genshin, you know? It makes it feel special and unique. Yeah, though, what do you guys like, Genshin? If you're still watching this world, comment down below what you really like about it. Is it the characters? The scenery? The story? What is it? Hmm? You used to know. Because, I mean, a lot of millions of people play Genshin, but why do they actually play it? You know? Is it to collect all the characters? Play the story? Which is it, you know? I'll keep this close. I'm curious. Anyway, let's continue onwards, shall we? Oh god, drinks go right through me. I might just take a toilet break in a minute. That ain't good. A treasure hoarder. Lee Dong. Have mercy, almighty Adeptus. I beg you. Show mercy upon me and my brother. What's Sp wrong? Who are you? What's going on? You first. Oh, you enjoy safe passage in Joyun Karst. It can only mean one thing. You must be Adepti messengers sent here to rescue me and my brother. What is he talking about? Oh, <laughs> have mercy, mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. I beg you to save us. My brother and I, we only came here because our family is poor. And we heard tell of treasures hidden in the amber of Mount Hulao. Uh -huh. It was stupid of us. But all we wanted to do was to find enough treasure to sell and support our family. It's a noble reason to steal, I we guess. We followed the path up the mountain, but suddenly, the amber that swallowed up my brother Li Dang. I ran away and made it this far before it dawned on me. We were trespassers in the abode of the Adepti. And this was our punishment. I had no idea how to rescue my brother, so I just started praying for the Adepti to have mercy right here on the spot. And now, that long last, two messengers come to my aid. What? We're not Adepti messengers. 
We just want to find the Adepti like everyone else. No, no, no. You, you must be messengers. You have to be. Oh. I have no idea which Amber trapped him. Please, you have to rescue him. I beg you, show me some Adepti mercy. <laughs> of your transgression, your predicament, and your repentance, one has become a rare. Thanks be to the Adeptus of Mount Hulao and to their messengers. Never will we be so foolish again. Whoa, check you out! When you speak like that, you actually make a pretty convincing Adepti messenger! <laughs> oh, I love... Another reason why I love this game. About where to find the Adeptus, but... Oopsie daisy. Dang got trapped in amber somewhere on Mount Hulao, and that they were following the path the whole way up. So let's follow the path down from here and make sure to be on the lookout for amber on the way. Yeah, pretty obvious, so. Huh? I mean, if your brother, bro if you lost your brother, surely you'd remember where it would be, you know. It would make sense, but... <laughs> hey help. Yeah. I love chests, bro. An answer from this world? A treasure chest. <laughs> don't know why I slam my rod so Let's much, but... I really don't know why. Might be some speech ah. impediment I have. I don't know. Very nice. Four. Hey, that's also a no go. God, this is where we landed. Knock them off. Isn't that nice? Let me get a chest and a post. Isn't that nice? As far as treasure is concerned. Isn't that lovely? Probably one of these here, isn't it? I think Ningorn's faster, actually. I guess that works, why not? No, that's a boar. Probably this one. Or the one just down there. There we are, fast, so. Well, what happened? You rescued me? Oh, thank you. Oh, and have you seen my brother? His name is Li Ding. We were climbing the mountain together. I just hope he didn't get trapped in Amber too. He's the top of the mountain. He made it to the top. That means he should be okay. Oh, thank you. I will head up to find my brother now. Here's hoping I don't run into any more Amber on the way. We gained 800 more. <laughs> they really are poor. Talk to them both now. Okay. Oh, I love the music in this game, too. I knew it. We'll get that some other time. Uh. Ah, that's why I recognise the sort of music form. The music... Have I played in I Pulled a Chi Chi? <laughs> I was wondering that. I, I had it from before. It's so well with the boat, it really does. Here they are. Thank you for rescuing my brother, oh mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. Have you ever seen the Adeptus here? What? No. I mean. Like everyone else, we've heard that there's an Adeptus living in Mount Hulao. 
The regular folks like us would never have the chance to meet them. No way. Unlike you guys, you're Adepti messengers. So it's a whole <laughs> different story. Anyway, we have trespassed in the realm of the Adeptus for long enough. We should get going. Thank you, mighty Adepti messengers. They're probably watching us to see how we handle this situation, huh? Yes. Thank Not gonna finish speaking? <laughs> okay. Boy, it'd be super helpful if we actually were Adepti messengers. I mean, we kind of are. <laughs> We're spreading messages to the Adepti at the moment, aren't we? Because it seems like this Adeptus has got a real temper problem. <laughs> but it's not like we've done anything wrong, so... Oof. Who dares trespass on my mountain? Who why, have, why is the dialogue cutting off? Foolish mortal. Come forth and receive your punishment. What the hell? Meet Mountain Shaper. Why was the dialogue cutting off there? Hold on. I... I don't have anything I want, do I? Um... I don't know where it would be. <laughs> Genuinely, I don't know. I'm not clicking anything to skip it. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Mountain Shaper. Hello. You intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. And you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. The thieves' ignorance was an affront to the Adepti. But your actions are an abomination of the highest order. Uh-oh. Wait, we can explain! Mooncarver sent us. Mooncarver? Trusted a mere mortal as his messenger? Is this a sigil of permission? One is surprised to find such things still exist in the mortal realm. You know, this makes me wonder, how on earth did Child actually get one of these? And how the, why the hell did he give us one of them for completely free? In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Few were made then, and thousands of years on, fewer still remain. Ooh. I gotta go to it real quickly, I'll be right back. Okay, I apologize for what. Let's get going, shall we? Speak. One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. Then one shall verify the truth thereof. You would be wise to speak the truth. For Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. Uh-huh. 
Rex Lapis. Assassinated? I really like the voices that they chose for the Adeptoi. It really does feel like it suits them. At the right of dissension? What mortal in Liyue, nay in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is, what power in this world could aspire to achieve it? Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. But now, alas, Rex Lapis, gone. Traveler, of the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. I like his understanding too. Because like even if they are quite full of pride and such, they are also willing to listen, or at least because we have the sigil. Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention, one shall convene with the other Adepti. Can someone explain the Amber situation to me? Hyman can. Adepti always have magical powers in storybooks. Seems it's true in real life too. You know, like how grass is actually Adepti hair, and rivers are actually Adepti saliva. There must be something similar going on with the Amber. Amber must be crystallized Adepti. You gross. <laughs> Your nonsense knows no bounds. <laughs> this Amber is produced by a flower that one has planted here, called the Karst Crawler. Oh? The majority of the plant is hidden underground. When stepped on, it produces amber to trap the invader. Ooh. After taking up residence here, one planted many karst crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. Over the years, they have helped to prevent many disturbances. But in the process, they have also trapped many curious things. <laughs> oh, so the Amber is alive? Correct. Thus, one may not leave this place in its current state, for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence. One will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter. One trusts that the manner of your departure will be swifter in nature. <laughs> Basically, the, um, telling, the secret telling to him. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay. What's in here, though? Is it the Adeptus abode? Presently absent. Okay. Well, for now, anyway, there's a thing up top. Oh, there's a Geoculus up top, too. Ooh. Oh, all that cool lapis. Now, there is something I've been thinking about lately. Well, that's that's a, everything. a bit that's of the reminiscing of my old team on my fast account, which is on the PlayStation, the so I can't actually yeah. play it on the PC or record it. I don't know how to record on the PlayStation, but... <laughs> yeah, but I'm just thinking about it. I'm trying to remember what my main team was again. I know my main was Eula. I got a pulled C1 too when she first came out. Uh, let's see, I also had Klee. Um, who are the other ones I had? I can't. Oh, Keyching. And honestly, I cannot remember the fourth character I had. It was a pretty good team though, and I built them pretty well too. Oh, there it is. Here he is, Mountain Carver. Boom. Not pretty.
And let's look for Cloud Retainer. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we should be able to reach the top from here, pretty much. Wouldn't that be nice? It's also very tranquil too, looking. really like it. I like it a lot. There's the teleport waypoint. Oh god, a thought just came to mind, but now it's lost. Um, <laughs> that ain't good. I remember it being important too. Oh god, I cannot remember it. What the hell was I thinking? Oh, don't you guys just hate that? When you're thinking of something important, then it, the thought just goes. Always really annoying. But anyway, let's get up here fast. Okay, cool. Work with Samna. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to remember what I was going to talk about, but I really can't right now. Oh, God, that's actually frustrating now. What the hell? He has a cloud retainer, I think. Oh, no. The same type of bard, ain't it? There we go. That's for Cloud Retainer. Okay. Oh, what's that? Hello? Tombstone? Message? Tranquility of the mind and purity of the heart. The three Adeptus... The unfettered forms no action and sets no, sets no rule. Their presence is beyond mere mortals. Okay, I've got a sneeze, hold on. Oh, nope, it's not muted. As for retainer, hmm. <gasps> That's it! When Moon Carver was going through the names of his Adepti buddies, he said there was one called Cloud Retainer. So this must be where Cloud Retainer and the other Adepti have their dinner parties. Sorry, I was muted. I, I missed the button. <laughs> How about we cook up some extra special dishes for the Adepti? We're sure to get Cloud Retainer's attention that way. Oh. <laughs> what do Adepti even eat anyway? Paimon has no idea. Hmm. People must make offerings here all the time. Guess all we can do is look around the area for any leftovers. Maybe that'll give us some ideas. Um, do you think maybe it's at all possible that the Adepti <laughs> might like to try some sticky honey roast? <laughs> Uh, all she thinks about is food, isn't it? Can't say I blame her, though. Sticky honey roast. Oh, God, just the thought of it's making me hungry. Look, we'll try this as food offering, eh? What's this? The one who views this m monument, seek ye for. Oh, God damn it. Okay. There's probably these camps around, isn't it? Obviously. 
Them and cooking tracing. It's very clean here. Whoever cooked here last obviously likes to keep things neat and tidy. Paima bets they were making an offering to the Adepti. Looks like we got us some Matsutake and some raw meat. And what do you know? The recipe is right here. This oh. chef was a super organized person. That nice. Matsuki meat rolls. Interesting. Here's the next. Lotus head and snapdragon, hey. Someone has definitely cooked here before. Do you think they were making an offering? Looks like they didn't use all the ingredients. Let's see here. We got some and tofu. Dragon, some lotus heads, some tofu. Whatever they were cooking, it sounds complicated. Hey, look over there. They left some notes too. Yup. It's a doozy. Paimon's <laughs> not surprised they had to write it all down. It's a lot to remember. We should read it carefully. Okay. Oops. Jewelry soup, eh? Listen. Right, let's see the last one. The geography, Sylvia? Hold on. A little sidetracked. We're in a cave in here. You know what? We can do this another time. Um. Yeah, we can come back here another time to do that. Um, let's continue for now, shall we? Oh, my throat is really sore. That ain't good. Okay. Nice place. This place doesn't look too feng shui, if you get what I mean. So I'm the traces of cooking. Wow, the ground is covered in flour. <laughs> what a messy chef. Hmm, seems there's meat in this pot, but Paimon can't tell which kind. Oh. Do you think whoever cooked this made it as an offering to the Adepti? Hmm. Paimon can't quite imagine an offering made of flour and meat. Huh? Our messy chef dropped a piece of paper on the floor. Ew, and there's a huge footprint on it too. Oh, compared to the other two, but this guy. Footprint aside, maybe it has something to do with this mystery dish. Okay. <laughs> Offer food to Cloud Retainer. Oh, I see. Do I have to guess the last one, then? Since it's not giving me the recipe. Some meat and flour. Now, from what I said, it could either be fowl or regular raw meat. Uh, well... Oh, yeah. Recipes here. Jewelry soup. Matsuke meat rolls. Flour and meat, huh? I wonder if I have a recipe for something like that. I genuinely can't remember at the moment. Yes, this is still out of fire. Nice. I have to swap. Jewelry soup. Ooh, okay. No character bonuses. Hey ho. Don't mind, we'll cook it perfectly. So it's to the highest order. Eight of them. Oh, is it that? Maybe. Noodles of mountain delicacies. Here we go. Meatballs.
One senses the presence of a sigil of permission. One knows not why you have come, though the sincerity of your offering is clear. Hence, you shall be granted an opportunity. Find your way through mine abode, and you shall receive an audience with the Adeptus whom you seek. Reporting. Hmm. One senses the presence of a sigil of permission. One knows not why you have come, though the sincerity of your offering is clear. Hence, you shall be granted an opportunity. Find your way to my abode, and you shall receive an audience with the Adeptus whom you seek. No one escapes my Seems like an emergency.
One is most impressed. The path that leads through this abode defies those of ordinary abilities. The one before you is the Adeptus Cloud Retainer. Now speak of the matter which brings you here. You surmise correctly. In fact, even Gui Zhang and Rex Lapis themselves found one's technological accomplishments to be worthy of commendation. This place is huge, and there are so many mechanisms! Do you really have this whole place to yourself? What's it even for? Did you build it as your private mechanism workshop or something? It's just like the stories say. The Adepti leave the human world, find somewhere to go be a hermit, and then they research and invent all these amazing things! One is simply not partial to the tedium of social interaction, and wish to find some peace and quiet. Find it one did. Shortly after which, you arrived bearing your sigil of permission. But enough. State the matter which brings you here at once. You have disturbed the tranquility of this place for long enough. Rex Lapis. Assassinated? How can this be? Such a heinous crime! Who would dare? The notion is so preposterous as to be unbelievable! One shall have to verify the truth of the matter independently. Perhaps one shall quash Liyue first, then convene with the other Adepti. Wait, what? Did you just say squash Liyue Harbor? Are you seriously gonna wipe out the whole city? Only a response of sufficient magnitude can negate the possibility of further incidents. It is as you say. We have protected Liyue Harbor under the leadership of Rex Lapis for 37 centuries. But in the face of this coup, by nefarious actors, exceptional measures must be taken. Yikes! Quick! You gotta think of something! She wants to squash Liyue flat! And it doesn't seem like she's bluffing! Exactly what Paima was gonna say. We made all that delicious food and gave every last bit of it to you. We were hoping you might help Liyue out, not wipe Liyue out. Or at least let's, you know, discuss it first. Can't hurt for you to get a second opinion. Contract? A cruel irony that you should appeal to the notion. After the merciless murder of the God of Contracts himself, the people of Liyue seem quite content to dispense with their contracts. They are quite adept at taking that which is composed of black and white and turning it gray. Nevertheless, since you come here in the name of Contracts, far be it from one to abandon one's own contractual obligations. Least of all, when you come bearing a sigil of permission... <sighs> Rex Lapis infused these sigils with a deptal power when he first cast them. That power once aided humans in battle. Most of the sigil's power has long since worn off. 
It is but a keepsake now. This keepsake cannot be taken as proof of your trustworthiness. One must investigate the claims that you make independently. This, no doubt, is Mooncarver's very reason for summoning us. Your audience with the Adeptus before you is now concluded. Leave at once, and... <laughs>